What is up guys, Rashid here, and in this video I'll be showcasing my Paleozoic Frog deck that I've been piloting since the archetype been fully released. I am in love with this deck. I know all the ins and outs of this deck and since I love it so much I had it uh, most of the all the frogs extended there are uh, as you can see anyway let's get to the deck profile first you run of course triple swap frog uh, you will always want to see in your opening hand if you can see him pretty much your setup then we have triple dupe frog three is good i'm not gonna run two you need the maximum number of frogs you can get and lastly two ronin totem self explanatory there all right, I decided to run double maxi in this deck since uh, since the raging the best KO and everybody playing uh, Mombrat and whatever Zodiacs. This card is really good and stops your opponent from overextending and helps you get more cards since the more cards you have in this deck, the stronger you are. And I run Tekken, I don't run any Kaijus, I run double Lava Golems because I rather go two for one so instead of one for one. Uh, they are really good interactions with uh, Totally Awesome and Lava Golem. Yep. For the spells, we of course run Triple Desire since this is a com highly competitive deck. You need Desires in this deck. Triple Reckless Greed. Uh, plus two, if you can resolve two of these, you pretty much won. Triple Wabuku, card is amazing, gets you a Pilzoic and protects it till the end of this turn, really good. Uh, triple uh, Demeskius or Karma Cut, discard one, banish. Uh, triple Bukamoon, the Pils Bukamoon Pilzoic. Triple MST one. And for the Solemn Brigade, we run Triple Strike and one warning. Since Strike is still at three, you're on three. It's really good. Uh, double Foolish. I really like this card a lot since I added a new card from Raging Tempest. This card became a lot stronger. And the good thing about it, if you, it's like a free Pelozoic. When you play this, you dump anything. That's a free Pelozoic. It's like you are summoning it from your hand. And if you open with this, you pretty much have two Pelozoics all game and you're set up. And two of the Destiny draw. This card is good. You I always search it, dump and draw two. Uh, and lastly, one of the, the one that returns one banished monster. I rarely go into this card, but if I have it, I, us I usually banish it, but it's still there if you need it. I run double Storming Mirror Force since I have Lava Golem. Uh, Let's say I have Lava Golem, uh, when, they, when I give them Lava Golem, they attack, I flip this, Lava Golem turns back to my hand, I can use it again. I run, I still run the one Tekken Starlight Road, won me so many games. This card won me so many games, so many locals, like they just blind, twin twister me, Starlight Road, Black Rose me, Starlight Road, whatever. This card is amazing, I wish I could run two, but there is no space, so I'm running one. And... I'll get to that card later. One Compulse is a really good card. You bounce a monster, get a Pelzoic. One Threatening Draw. This could be an, a torrential tribute uh, if uh, if I decide I don't need Threatening Draw anymore, but uh, there. And lastly, the Lost Win, the new card from Raging Tempest. Uh, this is better than Breakthrough Skill since you can re uh, get it back over and over. Uh, and you can use that return from the Banish one. Where is it? This one. Uh, to return it and use it again and it's actually it starts a chain since it's set you can activate it and actually uh, you could survive out of it since the, it cuts the attack, negates the effect cuts the attack in half onto the extra deck still have the triple totally awesome triple opiana whatever his name is and double of this guy uh, number 45, amazing card. Digusto Phoenix, amazing card. Cat Shark, also good. Hair of the Pure Light, this card won me a game when I needed Lava Golem. I get when this, get Lava Golem back to my hand, shuffled a uh, frog into my deck and went off after that. Sky Cavalry, really good card. Uh, against monsters that cannot be destroyed or whatever. It's a really good card. 
and one, lastly one number F0, eh, it's good, and one Stardust, there is a really cool combo with, I mentioned before, between Digasta Phoenix and Stardust Dragon, won me more games than I can count, where I get, I use Starlight Road, get Stardust, I make Digasta Phoenix, they're surprised, and I choose Stardust, attack twice for 5,000 damage, then it's really good. Uh, that's the deck so far. Uh, the deck is really solid, still one of the strongest deck this format. I know everybody's going out with the new archetypes with Zodiacs and shit, but this deck is really good, still really solid. Uh, if you love uh, if you love this deck, don't worry, it's still competitive. Uh, it's so OCG play until the ban lists when they cut uh, totally awesome back to one, but still this deck is uh, really good. Uh, appreciate if you leave a thumbs up, if you like that, subscribe for more videos, and thank you guys for watching.